can this theorem. If A is any set, then there is no surjection of A onto the set P A of all subsets of A. Proof. This theorem says that if A is any set and P A is its power set, then it is not possible to define an onto map from A to P A. Now, let us illustrate this theorem by taking an example. Suppose A consisting of elements like X, Y, Z, then P A consists of all subsets of A, including A because A is a subset of A, and other subsets are like set X, set Y, set Z, set X, Y, set Y, set, set X, set like that. Now, suppose there exists a surjection F from A to P A, and it takes X to suppose set X, and it takes Y to set Y, and it takes Z to set Z. Then it is very clear from this that there are some more subsets like set X, Y, set Y, set, set X, set, etc., which are not the image of any elements of A. And also you remember that if A is having three elements or n elements, then the PA consists of two raised to n elements. So from this example, it clearly tells there is, it is not possible to define a surjection from A to PF. Now we are going to define this analytically by giving a good proof in using set theory idea. Suppose there exists a surjection map F from A to PA. See here A, PA, PA consists of all subsets like a is there, other subsets like this, and uh, F is a surjection suppose from A to P of A. Now you take any subset B of A, that means an element of P A. Now since F is a surjection from A to P A, therefore there exists a B in A such that F maps B to B. That means for any B in P A, there exists an element B in B such that F B equal to B. Now, B is in A and the capital B is a subset of A like this. Now, B may be in B sometimes and B may not be in B. This is the case. Now, if for any A in A, you take for any A in A, this F of A is a subset of A, an element of P A. There are two possibilities. This A may be in F of A sometimes or A may not be in F of A. Now you consider the set D consisting of all the elements A in A for which A is not in F of A. Clearly D is a subset of A. Since F is a surjective map from A to P A, there exists an element A0 in A such that F of A0 is equal to D. So this is our D. D consists of elements of A such that A is not in F of A. Now this D is an element of P A. F is a surjection from A to P A and therefore there exists an A0 in A such that F of A0 is equal to D. Now here there are two possibilities, A0 may be sometimes in D like this because D is a subset of A and A0 may not be an element of D like this. Now let us take the case 1, suppose A0 is in D, if A0 is in D by the definition of elements of D, D consisting of those elements for which A is not in F of A. So, if A0 is in D, A0 is not in F of A0. That is, A0 is not in D because F of A0 is D. So, A0 is not in D. So, if you take A0 in D, you are getting A0 not in D. That is a contradiction. Now, if you assume the second case, suppose A0 is not in D. So, A0 is not an element of D. And therefore, A0 is in F of A0. Because D consists of those every element A in A for which A is not in F of A. Here A0 is not in D, therefore A0 is not in, is in F of, F of A0. 
a naught is in f of a naught that means a naught is in d so you got a naught is not in d implies a naught is in d so in any cases if either a naught is in d a naught is not in d you are getting contradictions hence what we assumed is wrong it is not possible to define a surjection from a onto p a that's all the proof thank you